basement. One of the projects that got done today is putting these shelves up and tonight after supper we decided we're going to start hauling some canned goods over. Everything we do today we won't have to do some other time. Welcome guys to this episode of Mullet Family Montana. My name is Mary and this is my little sunny boy, Jordan. Can you say hi Jordan? Hi. You know today is a dreary wet day. It's not very cold but it is, it's dreary and overcast. This video is going to be many pieces and parts. We had Luther Ball and his sons move our little shop we had over in the other property. You'll see a short clip of that. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of our Thanksgiving dinner we had at Marcus and Dora. It was a lot of fun. And stay tuned all the way to the end when Marvin and I are gonna go through some of your comments. And thank you for watching this episode of Mall of Family Montana. It is a wet, rainy, soggy day. We're getting down to the wire where we've got to be out of our old place. And I don't have a place for the animals yet, so this is going to be part of my greenhouse next year. But right now, it's going to be, this is a temporary barn for the animals. Um, they're going to be in here this winter while I build a nicer, bigger barn. And then this is going to get converted into the greenhouse. I'll probably tear it back down, make it quite a bit longer. But uh, yeah, these go up pretty fast excited to get everything over here we've got just a few more days to get everything out of our old place um, we've had luther ball the guy that set up the house here he moved our little shop over here um, so we're we're getting closer progress is being made it, it snowed a couple of inches maybe five six inches and now the last two days it's just been raining so it's wet you can, you can tell i'm soaked but hey we gotta get going You make this is that. Thanksgiving Day, and we are playing a game called Cover Your Assets. It was so much fun. Dora and Marcus Girard invited us over to their house for Thanksgiving dinner. Dora Girard, my sister-in-law, just made us the most wonderful feast. We had turkey and stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, salad, and some amazing dinner rolls that Dora made. And then she had the most wonderful desserts as well.
to do some Black Friday shopping. Mainly to get appliances for our house. Yes, the appliances are on sale today and that's what we're going for. We've got the trailer behind us and this morning Marvin and I thought we'd just go together and the boys would hang out at home but they all wanted to come with us so here they are. Boys, can you say hi? cabbage, vegetables, and this is an elk roast that I took out of the freezer. This is a dual-sided meat tenderizer from Pampered Chef. It has two sides. The one side is flat, and the other one has teeth like this, and this thing is heavy, and it works wonders in tenderizing your meat. Now elk and deer meat, especially the roast, can be just really tough and chewy. So this thing really helps to soften it up. So I have to tell you another one of my favorites. This is a stainless steel nonstick wok from Pamper Chef. It is heavy and durable and just perfect for large batches of stir fry. right on the stove until it's nice and tender. Put the lid on.
This stir fry was really good. The boys liked it, except Jordan. He's kind of picky when it comes to vegetables. I wanted to tell you the noodles that I put in. They are from Trim Healthy Mama, and they're called the Ancient Wisdom Noodles. And I find these really, really good. They taste like, I think they take the place of the real noodles. But they're, they, have, they're, they have no calories. These are cognac noodles. I think that's how you pronounce it. They have no calories. Uh, they do have some fiber. They are a healthier option than the noodles, and I find that my kids like it. My kids really enjoy it. I wanted to show you guys, this is one of my first attempts at sourdough bread. I've tried it before, and it never really turned out. So the other day, I was talking to my sister Emily. She lives in Alaska, and she was trying to tell me how she does it, because she is a... Uh, she does it very well and has done it for years. And I used her recipe and I'm quite happy how it turned out. And I just wanted to show you guys because I'm so excited that my loaf of sourdough bread turned out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is quite, uh, the, the crust is a little bit hard. It's health and it'll strengthen your jaw muscles. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us. It has been a very busy last couple of weeks. Um, we're just a couple of days away from the closing this past week. I did three jobs and then I thought I was gonna be able to get everything done over on the property that we're selling. Turns out um, it takes quite a bit longer than what you think. One of the challenges with moving when you're a pack rat and you have four little pack rats is guess what, there's just four times the amount of stuff that needs to be moved. Yeah, Marvin and I are the opposite. If, if something's in my way, it just, I don't mind putting it right in the trash. He saves and saves, and then I have boys that are just like him, wanting to save. In <laughs> fact, my son Emmanuel likes to go into my trash can and see if I threw anything away that he possibly might yeah. want to save. Emmanuel will continuously check the trash. There can be a junk broken toy laying somewhere for a week. You throw it in the trash and within 30 minutes he'll like, oh, you're not gonna throw this away, are you? <laughs> I so have... I hope Emmanuel's not hearing, but usually what I do is, if there's a scenario like that, that junk toy goes in the trash underneath or inside something so he doesn't find it. Um, uh oh, he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so we want to get to some of your comments. As um, the last couple of weeks, I haven't been posting as much, and it's because we've been uh, working our way over to this our new property here, and I just did not take the time uh, to make the videos like I would have loved to. But we're now moved, and I'm excited to get some videos made, and I'd like to get to some of your comments. The Colonel and Sissy, you wrote, new subscriber, best wishes on your Pamper Chef endeavor. I'm excited to watch you grow. Personally, I would love to see you putting these items to good use. Could you please post more videos cooking and canning? I'm new to homemaking and enjoy learning from more experienced ladies like yourself. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm more experienced. Well, with our background, this is just something that we all Well, that's with. true. My a, mom did it. A lot of home cooking. We don't, you don't do as much as what the traditional Amish do. Like we buy breads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But we still still do a fair amount of canning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't call myself a professional, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy cooking. And one of the things that I do love is more and more when you see uh, the american diet just how um full of chemicals it is i love creating these more healthier options so that's what i am hoping to do more in the future other thing that happened this week in the house is mary had this little um corner hutch that she bought needed to be assembled well it's usually myself and drone that assembled this. Morgan has never done this. And Morgan was like, I, I'd like to do that. Can I do it? Like, sure. You know, here's some screwdrivers, some drills, etc. And uh, 
It took him quite a while, but he got the whole thing together by himself. And we'll show you that. Pretty big deal. It's the first thing yeah. Morgan has put together. It only took him a couple of days. A couple of days. Yeah, very in a couple, quicker than what I thought. In a couple hours. In a couple hours in the morning, maybe yeah. a couple hours at night. It didn't take him like... Weeks. Took it him didn't days. take him 20 hours to do it. So, Naz Clark, 1059, you wrote, Bravo, Mary, such a great video with so much information. Pampered Chef has so many wonderful products. My kitchen is full of them. Pizza stones are also great to use for baking cookies. That's good to oh, know. I'll have to try that. <laughs> the other thing that uh, just happened this week, we got the animals over. You guys probably all saw the little barn I had over at the other property. Um, I kind of jumped ahead and built a greenhouse because those grew up really fast, the way I put them up anyway. So the animals are in there, in the greenhouse for this winter. Um, and then I'm gonna start building the barn for them. And then next spring, I can just maybe have a person on each corner, we'll pick that greenhouse up and move it out to where we're gonna have the garden. So I have the greenhouse built, which is a temporary uh, barn right now, and it'll work pretty good. Chickens don't do, they don't lay well in the winter time if they don't have light. So this is like a reinforced plastic. It looks like a tarp, but it's clear. It, it looks it's a thin, cross, but cross it is woven, very but it's, strong. It's very strong. Um, and I got the idea, maybe when I build a barn, I'll do a round roof barn this time. Not sure. Where I grew up at, there was multiple styles of roofs. And the round roof was kind of intriguing to me, um, how they arched it. Um, we'll see once. I might decide to do that. Really, every year Libby does something for the ladies. The, many of the shops stay open till nine o'clock and they call it ladies night out. So Leona Mast and I spent last night out on the town and it was just a lot of fun. I might link that at the end of the video and so you can see just a sneak peek of what we did last night. So I'm in town with my bestie, Leona Miller. She would be, hey guys, there's some more of my friends, yay. Leona is Joyce's sister. If you know Joyce, if you watch Joyce and Priscilla, Montana Haven, she would be Joyce's sister. So yeah, we're just going out in the town and a lot of these stores have discounts for the women. It's Christmas time and it's shopping season and they, they do it every year. It's a lot of fun. Can you say hi, Leona? This is Joyce's sister. And we're just out having some fun. Smelling candles. Oh, yes. This is my bestie, Leona. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're having a lot of fun. Just hanging out in the town tonight. Every girl needs a friend like Mary. Yes. <laughs>